this morning. I'm now dressed. I'm continuing to fill up here. Um, I am going to have bookshelves in the living room, but not for a while. Uh, it's probably going to be like a November job, maybe even a December job. So for now, they just need to not be living on the floor in the living room. So I'm trying to fit as many as I can into this bookshelf until there are purpose-built bookshelves for it all. Um, Hello and welcome to a vlog, by the way. Didn't say that, did I? Hello guys. It's Friday morning now. Let's pause the music, where's my phone? Um, I'm just getting ready to go out into town. I'm going to, um, I went to Arquette to, because I'm working with them again, and I'm going to pick up some stuff in the store today. So I think I'll probably show that in the, yeah, in next week's video, I reckon. Um, show you what I get, but it's happening today. And so I'm just getting ready. So I just thought I would kind of get ready on camera, basically, uh, looking as exhausted as always. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good, actually. Looking knackered, but feeling good. I'm only tired because this morning I haven't got into the routine here of what day my bin day is. It's only one day of the week to remember. It shouldn't be so hard, but alas. Um, and woke up hearing, you know, that beeping sound the bin men make, not the bin men themselves, the truck, coming down the road. And I woke up at like quarter to seven, like, shit. So I put my dressing gown on, I was running outside, trying to get all the bins out in time. And the guy driving the truck was just absolutely pissing himself at me. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I didn't even manage to get everything out, out in time, so, so I need to just maybe set an alarm in future. All these grown-up things you have to think about as an adult, which I've just no one prepared me for. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, constant early starts. I am feeling good, just tired. I um, ordered the bathroom yesterday, which is so exciting. Uh, I think I told you guys what I was thinking of doing with it, but I'm just going to 
probably show you when when it's all in i found deciding on a bathroom really hard i was speaking to mum about it because there's so many components you have to decide all at once you know normally in a room you'd be like picking furniture bit by bit whereas in a bathroom because it's all being done at the same time you obviously have to decide everything at once so it's just going to be like white square tiled really classic victorian um style sink and things um i have some glass bricks in there which i love glass bricks i don't know why i just absolutely think they look so great and obviously that bathroom currently aside from the fact it's got a light which makes you feel like you're about to go into surgery it is really dark um so the glass brick wall is going to go on like the wall going into the hallway to hopefully just make everything a bit lighter in there um, and them having it made bigger the walls being moved back so lots of things which um, I've never mind trying to get you guys to visualise it because I've been finding it very hard to visualise and I'm the one stood in there making the decisions. So I think I'm just going to have to do a big reveal when it's all done, which will be um, probably in November. So yeah, that's exciting. The lights that I showed you guys, the floss lights, they're going up tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to because I think it's going to really change the room. And I might try and drag Lindsay over on Saturday to try and help me move the living room around. Oh no, maybe I'll wait a bit. Oh, uh, can't really make decisions at the moment, as you can probably tell. Um, do you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until the new sofa's arrived, which should be hopefully the beginning of next month, maybe. And then once that's in and the old one's gone, decide if I want to switch those two rooms around and have the office dining room at the front and the living room at the back, which I'm thinking I will, because then when that bookshelf's up there, wall to wall, that'll be like a really snug reading space um and then oh i must update you guys on books i obviously went away with lynn's and read a lot when i was away so i'll do a book update as well um but yeah that's going to be a later decision i digress i digress for three and a half minutes uh i'm gonna get ready i went to a um breakfast yesterday with steamery oh busted in why is that so painful oh that was an absolute absolute toe stubber on the edge of the bed um i went to brunch yesterday with steamery Stockholm, my first ever steamer, better late than never, you might say, because um, I've obviously I hate ironing, who, who, who enjoys ironing? So I've got a steamer and a debobbler, I don't know, maybe it's not a debobbler actually, steamer and steam water, which I'm so excited about, so I can steam things this morning. I did think it was a bit debobbler, and I'm going to order the debobbler because um, a lot of my jumpers now are coming into autumn need a refresh. So I might order one of those so that I can refresh things. But let me show you the steamer. It's a new one. I've never had one from them before, but this one's got like an iron plate on the top of it, so you can really press things against the fabric. This isn't sponsored or anything, guys. I literally just got given this yesterday, and I'm genuinely quite excited. Okay, it comes in two colours. I got the charcoal one, it comes in a lighter colour as well, which I actually probably prefer. But I mean, this is still lovely. And then this is like the ironing plate thing. So I can start steaming things and become a more presentable human being, which is very exciting for me. And obviously, the whole idea is that you can travel with them as well, which is so good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. Ouija's just here as well. I'm gonna. What are you doing? Come here. He spends all his time sat on the window, don't you? Should we steam whatever we wear today? Your outfit doesn't need steaming. Why are you so dusty? You're so dusty because you snuck into the basement this morning and then you've been playing with cobwebs. He does not want to cuddle today. Love me. <laughs> no, he's like, let me go back to my window and watch the world go by as soon as you won't let me out. Yeah, I'm surprised he's still my friend, really, at this stage. Um, he's got to wait a bit longer as well. Right, let's get dressed and decide on an outfit. Okay, guys, it's jumper weather in London. Not happy with that in August. Anyway, got one of my favourite Arquette men's jumpers on. And these new jeans which I wanted to talk about, which from a brand called Asket, um, which is, I just did some sponsored work with them on Instagram. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I just want to talk about these jeans on here as well. Because they're really great. 
for their standard fit jeans. I'm wearing a waist 26, leg 32. They come in a varied thing of leg length and they have what they call a straight fit or a curvier fit as well. So lots of sizing options and as a brand they are um, like based on around essentials and having 100% transparency in their production and everything's traceable um, and so it has all this information about like where the garments have been made and with what and what um, what kind of ethical practices have been used but I just want to mention them because they are a really good really good pair of jeans I'm not sure about these shoes with this outfit actually I might change them but I really wanted to wear them they're new from St Agni they're like a flip-flop with a really tiny heel and they're like barely their shoes and even though it's it's not super cold so it kind of is like sandals and knit weather um but I just don't know if they're quite right with this look I think maybe I just need to put a chunky sandal on instead I'm not sure I'm gonna take my Todd's bag though um oh no actually maybe I'll take my Prada yeah I'm gonna take my Prada bag instead um this is the look maybe the shoes will change or maybe they won't can't decide. Totally changed everything. Kept the jeans on. Added my Chanel belt, Uniqlo cashmere jumper, Philippe K slides, Prada bag, which needs filling up with stuff. So simple, but comfy. And I'm a big fan of like a jumper and sandal season, which is always a limited amount of time. So we must make the most. Yeah, you can kind of see the jeans even better here, which isn't a bad thing in terms of showing you guys. Off I go. On my way back out the door again the pub this evening and I will show you the whole Arquette haul in the next video but how good are these? I'm wearing the first outing so by the time I actually film the next video I'll be able to tell you if they're comfortable. They are so good. Just they're from Arquette obviously. Just got one with some very old Topshop jeans, read on t-shirt, jump over the shoulder, Todd's bag, casual comfy, off to the pub. Yes. <laughs> Right guys, let's talk books. Um, what did I read on my holidays? Where? This! I read Sally Rooney's new one, Beautiful World Where Are You, which I got copy of, a proof of, early. Let's sit down and chat properly. Um, oh, that might be a bit low there. Oh dear. Um, yeah, the Arquette shoes rubbed me. I had to go get blister plasters, as you saw. But I think they'll be breaker inners. I think I'll be able to get there with them. It's just going to be a bit of a bit of a commitment. I kind of expected them to hurt with what that style of shoe is. Anyway, on my holidays, I, the first book I read, which I'm definitely not going to be able to find easily, was Kez, um, which I've never read before or seen the film. I don't know where my copy is, and there's just so many of these Penguin books. It's just not going to jump out at me quickly. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was really sad. Didn't know it was a sad story um and then i read the sally rooney new one um yeah this is the this is the proof copy it's out in september i enjoyed it actually i wasn't the biggest fan of normal people uh but i really really liked this it was such like a good holiday read and so i think obviously it's gonna be super popular when it comes out but for good reason and then i read murakami's new short stories um first person singular which I also really enjoyed. I really want to read more Murakami. I think I really want to read um, The Wind Up Bird Chronicles next of his. Um, but yeah, this was a really easy read as well and very enjoyable. And now I'm reading um, Overstory by Richard Powers, which I'm also really, really, really enjoying actually. It's kind of, um, it's like a story. It starts off as almost like uh, short stories because it's introducing fa uh, seven characters, I think. Um, and then I'm on to the second part of it, which then uh, shows how these characters which you're introduced to are going to all intertwine in their stories. Um, it's quite a long book. It's a good 600 pager. This is it. But I am really, really, really enjoying it. And the other thing, oh, the other thing I was going to say to you guys is if you have read 
mine and Lindsay's book, Things You Can't Ask Your Mum. Will you be ever so kind? If you enjoyed it, you don't have to say nice things about it if you didn't like it. But would you be ever so kind to go and leave us a little review on Amazon? Um, which apparently is an important thing for the algorithm. So I'm told. Um, so I will leave a link to do that in the description box. It means so much if you had just took the minute to leave a review. Like I said, just an honest review. It'd be nice to say something nice, but I can't make you guys do that. Um, but yeah, that would be that would mean such a lot actually. So I'll leave a link, and if you have time, please go and do that for Lindsay and I. And now let's talk about lights. Mm. Look what's up, the Floss Global. Little man is here, and here are the lights. They are so beautiful, I couldn't be happy with them. I love the S-Bend in that wire, which you just kind of do yourself basically. We get an electrician, I didn't do it myself. Um, they are just incredible. I'm so obsessed with how they look in the room. They are so, they look almost like a graphic element because they just look so flat the way the glass is. Um, it literally just looks like a floating 2D shape which I love. I think they both look incredible. They've really changed the room compared to how those awful lights beforehand. Um, and yeah, I couldn't be happy with them. I absolutely love them. The, annoyingly, the, I mean, it's such an old house, so everything's wonky, but the two the light fittings aren't in line with one another. If I stand dead central here, you can see, um, which kind of, I mean, I'm not gonna change that, it's fine. Uh, but because I was thinking of switching these rooms around and putting this in there and having misses here, but this sits so nicely over the dining table. Now I'm not sure if that's gonna work in the, in the right way. But everything's looking lovely, isn't it, Weege? And cozy, and your teepee is front and centre. The artwork still needs to go up, but I'm gonna wait until the mirrors are here before I do that, because I think that's just gonna change the room such a lot. So just doing one thing at a time, basically. So mirrors should hopefully come next week. So that'll be in next week's video, fingers crossed. And then we'll consider where to put the artwork, won't we? Actually, no, we're gonna wait for the new sofa first and then we'll consider the artwork. You're not being very helpful. No? Okay. But yeah, these honestly have made such a big difference. I'm so, so, so pleased with them. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it for house updates. I ordered all the bathroom stuff. One minute, lighting a bit better. Yeah, I ordered all the bathroom stuff. So that's all been done and that should all come um, sort of in the next few weeks and then I mean I can't wait for that bathroom to be sorted obviously it's a fully functioning bathroom so I can't complain too much but it really is not my cup of tea um, and as someone who loves having a bath so much not finding it a very relaxing space to sit and uh, read with my book in the bath basically so I'm so excited for that to be done um, and yeah I will do you know what I will talk you through what I'm thinking of doing with it because I can't think of a reason why I can't. <laughs> so let's go back upstairs. Um, this is just my second coffee of the day. I'm waking up really early. Well, not really early, but like, I woke up at 7.30 today. And it is a Sunday, and I'm back holiday Sunday at that, so I consider that to be early on a weekend. Um, so I'm quite tired, but yeah. Ah, fuck this bathroom, honestly. So dark. So, here we go. Let me, let me talk you through the vision. Right, this wall is being pushed back because the spare room is a really decent size. I mean, it's a mess at the moment. Oh my God, I don't know what you, I just walked into a door frame. Um, yeah, so it's gonna, the, this wall's gonna come in kind of the width of a bath and this room will be made a bit smaller. And obviously toilet and sink being placed. And just having white square tiles throughout. The window is gonna be changed. Um, and I'm still gonna have a bath like this, where it's like a built-in bath as opposed to a freestanding bath. Uh, but it's gonna be like tiled up. I'm also gonna put in a glass brick wall here. So like this, this bit will just be a wall and the bath will kind of start here where this wall currently is. So I'm gonna put a glass brick wall in there just so that overall everything feels quite nice and light and there's as much light coming through as possible. Um, and then have like a bit of storage here. The radiator's being moved and replaced with like a long, thin one. Oh shit, I'm just thinking, do I order the right height? I will soon say. Um, and then, yeah, mirror obviously being replaced and the back wall, I think it's just gonna be a whole mirror above the bath. So I'm going quite classic, cause it's all just gonna be white tiles and really simple, but I just don't think I'm ever gonna get bored of that. 
and then we'll add colours in with like towels or whatever if I want some colour in. Um, but seeing it like this, I want no colour in it whatsoever. I want this to be a white, clean bathroom. Less of this. Um, so yeah, that is the master, there's my coffee, the master bathroom plan, which I'm really excited for. The battery on this is flashing at me, so I'm going to go and charge it and speak to you guys later when I have more things to talk to you about, which is, you will wait with bated breath, I imagine. Guys, trench in August, not into it, but I have missed wearing this coat. <laughs> AF ag coat, t-shirts from Free People, really old Topshop jeans, difference this slides. I was gonna wear my flip flops actually and go like a real Scandi look, but the slides are nice. Um, I actually ordered, they've done this jacket in like a short version, it's like a parka. Um, so it's not the same as, aside from the fact it's the same colour from the same brand. And they did it in this colour and black, and I've gone for it in this colour after much deliberation because I worried the black one was too much like my toe 10 one with two pockets. I'm so excited for it to arrive, but I don't know if I should have gone for the black. Is a black short jacket more versatile actually than a trench cut and creamy one? I'll link it in the description box so you guys can have a look as well because they do tend to sell out really quickly. Um, and I've worn this coat to death, like it was such a good purchase, it was so worth the money. So I'm excited for a shorter version, um, but just don't know if I've got the right colour. But then I, I don't think I've got a croppy one in this sort of a colour. And they have nailed this shade of beige for the trench. Um, anyway, I'm going out to meet Lindsay for some brunch. New handbag guy as well. This is a mulberry bag, which I'm going to take. It's so nice. This is kind of quite um, heavily branded for my liking normally, but I really like this because it's not really easy to read and it's not like it's a logo as such. It just, you know what I mean? It's not like a really obvious logo anyway. I'm going to take this today because I really like the, um, the strap that I need to put things in it. I just forgot it so far. So far I have my wallet and my trusty Nivea lip balm, phone, um, AirPods going straight in the ears. It does hold a nice big book. So I'm going to take that because I might wander back via a couple of other coffee shops and sit and read by myself for a bit. Got oh, face mask, which I've dropped on the floor, got the right side up, so that's fine. Um, keys on the door, that's everything we need. Off we go for brunch. Oh, my hair is doing. Hello guys, I just finished editing this vlog. It's now Monday, 20 to three, and I'm gonna sign it off, export it, upload it. You'll be watching it soon. I think, like I said, the next week's video will be sponsored by Arquette. Um, showing you the bits that I got um, and yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this one the home content is just going to come in dribs and drabs like I've said so many times before it's entirely dependent on when shit's actually getting done um, which is mostly happening in a month or so so yeah thank you so 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 much for watching um, This the, I've got a really good playlist that I'm listening to and I don't know if I can share it so I was having a coffee um, at a place nearish me and they had a really, really good playlist on. And I said to the guy working there, Do you, is this like a playlist that I can have? And he was so sweet. He was like, oh my God, this is my playlist, yes. And he was like really dorky about it in the best possible way, in the way that I would be about shit. He was like, God, I love it when people compliment my music. And then I heard him go over to one of his colleagues and be like, that girl just asked about my playlist. Um, so he gave me his playlist and it's so, so, so good. It's like perfect, just chill, easy music to have on in the house. Um, I don't know if I can share it or not because it's not my playlist. Maybe, maybe if you guys message me, I'll send you it individually, one by one. If you message and ask for it, I'll send it to you because I feel like I can't just black put someone else's playlist. Sorry, the memory card just filled up. Um, but yeah, he had it on in a cafe. So I think if you want it, message me and I'll send it to you. I'm not going to put it in the description box though. Oh, however, I'll put my August playlist in the description box with- Oh my God, guys, sorry, memory card. Again, this camera is honestly dreadful. Um, yeah, I'll put my August playlist in the description box because it's, well, it's nearly in September now, which is sickening, but I'm really pleased with it. It's a really, really, really good playlist um, with a real good mix of stuff on. So I'll put that one there at the very least. Um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. 
I will see you in the next one. As I'm working on a bank holiday Monday, I'm treating myself to a light lager from Cloudwater Brewery, which I believe is Manchester based. Um, but maybe that's wrong. No, it is. Yeah, Manchester. Whee. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.